Hi everyone, I haven't been posting tutorials for a long time and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I actually do have a couple of large-ish uh, tutorial series that I'm working on. I'm not sure when I'll, when I'll be done with them, but uh, hopefully soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to make this quick video because uh, if you go on Facebook right now, there's this really cool new feature. I think it's a new feature that uh, is like these 3D images. So you can apparently now create 3D images from almost anything, uh, like this guy posted. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. But uh, yeah, it's like this cool effect. If you move your mouse, it's got like this 3D effect. So I just wanted to show you how to do this from Blender. Uh, it's really easy. So I've got this example scene here. It's just a face with a background. Uh, I've noticed that uh, images tend to work better if they have a background and if the background is blurred. That's why I have, if you go to my camera here, uh, it's got some some blur settings here and uh, the focus is the empty. So I've got, got it focusing between the eyes right here. So if you uh, if I do an example, this is what, I, what I've got. Actually, uh, I might just make the head here a different color. So there's a little bit more uh, contrast here. But so, yeah, that's all you need. It's just a basic scene with a light and a background, and the background is blurred. And so now I just want to render this out. The, the way that Facebook works is it uses a depth map to, to tell Facebook which part of the image is in front and which part is at the back. So we need a depth map uh, for our scene here. And it's really easy. You can, uh, Blender has a depth map by default. So if I render this out, uh, yeah, so now it's rendered, and if I just plug in my depth map here, you'll see it's just white, so what you want to do is add a vector normalize, and this kind of compresses the values that is just be between a 1 and 0 range. So this is the default depth map that comes from cycles, and it's pretty good, but the problem with this map is that the edges look really ugly. So I don't often use this one, and I'll show you how to do uh, what you, which is, in my opinion, a better method. So I'll just delete this. And uh, so for for my method, I like to use the mist pass. So if I enable this and go over here to my camera settings, uh, hang on, let me just select my camera. Uh, just make sure that this mist checkbox here is also enabled. This will allow you to set the mist limits. Uh, which is also pretty important. So what I like to do is uh, this little widget right here is like the beginning. Uh, the closest to the camera is the beginning and this is the end of the mist. So uh, if you go to your world settings with the mist pass enabled you'll see it's got this uh, these two sliders here and this lets you set like where the mist starts and ends. So I like to just set it that it starts right at the beginning of the scene like so and it ends right at the furthermost point of the scene, which is this background plane I have here. So if you set your mist pass to something like this, you'll get better contrast, I think. So once you've done that, and you've got your mist pass enabled, and enabled in the layers here, just render it out again. Right, so it's rendered, and if you plug in your mist pass here now, you can see it gives you this uh, kind of... Uh, yeah, it's like the depth map, but it's got much better edges, as you can see. So I like to use this one. Uh, before we export this uh, and upload to Facebook, I just want to do a couple of corrections on this pass. So I normally like to input a uh, plugin uh, RGB curves node here, and also a color invert node, because Facebook reads it kind of differently from um, Blender. So for Facebook, white is like nearer to the camera and black is further away. So this is pretty contrasted. Uh, I like to raise raise the dark values a little bit. So maybe maybe something like that. And I like to lower the light values just so that there's a little bit more definition here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see in the recording, but if it's like this, it's just completely white. And when you lower it, it starts showing like the the different uh, the, the the features of the face. Okay, so that should work fine. Um, I'm not sure about this edge right here. That's kind of 
weird. Uh, I think if you tweak it a little bit, that edge goes away. Not sure, but anyway, um, yeah, just just do like like a, so you can just barely start seeing the features a little bit, and that should work fine. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hit F3 and save it out. So the naming is really important. You want to name the the depth pass with the underscore depth, the main image, which is this one. F3, you want to give it the exact same name, but remove the underscore depth. So the name can be anything, but that underscore depth has to be there for the depth pass. You save that. So now if I just go to Facebook and I click on uh, upload photo, and I just select the two, the two of these, remember the names are really important, and open, and they start uploading. And if they're named correctly, like I showed you, uh, Facebook should recognize it as a quote unquote 3D photo. Uh, and this uh, will load for a bit. And once it's done loading, this is what you get. So I'm going to click share here just so that I can open it up. Yeah, and so this is what you get. So it's a little bit weird. There's uh, these artifacts right here. Um, these tend to uh, vary like with the image. Also, like it seems to be curved a little bit. I think this is a result of probably my depth map, which is a little bit too contrasty. So if I go to my camera settings, uh, sorry, my world settings, and just kind of open this up a little bit, make it a little bit longer, uh, it should give me something a little less contrasty. You can do a quick test. All right, so that's rendered. Uh, we don't need to save the color out again. We can just uh, focus on the mist pass. So this is what it looks like uh, with a little bit wider uh, mist range. So, so I don't know, just kind of play around a little bit with it. Uh, you want you want some contrast, but not too much. Otherwise, it kind of gets weird. Uh, I think you should just barely be able to see like the features of the face. Uh, Alright, so let me save that out again and replace the old one. Save. Just re upload here. Just wait for Facebook to recognize them. Remember the naming, really important. And hit share. And yeah, so that's what you get. Uh, still a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, like the neck there. Not quite sure what to do about that. But yeah, like I said, this tends to uh, vary from image to image. You can also paint your depth maps manually. And I've seen some 2D artists, some concept artists, uh, get some really good results with that. So I'll leave a link in the description that kind of shows a very basic guide on how to do that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.